Hello and welcome to Monkeys With Fire. How are you this evening? I hope you're all well. I hope you've had a good day. So, of course, tonight we have another Tabletop Tuesday. And tonight we are going to be playing the game In Between from Board and Dice. In Between is a game for two players competing against each other to either protect or devour the inhabitants of Upsideville in a tug of war between the humans and the creature dimension. Oh, sounds exciting. Can't wait. And uh, I'm very fortunate that tonight I'm going to be joined by a fellow painter and streamer, Houndstooth Minis. I just before we get started with the game, I just wanted to show you guys what the uh, the box looks like because I thought this was a, a really novel design. As I explained, it is a tug of war between the townsfolk of Upsideville and the creature dimension. So here we have a picturesque view of 1950s suburban America. Would that be a fair description? Sounds like a fair description. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and then as the creature dimension takes over, <laughs> it's all gone to hell. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, and the the box itself has no um, markings as far as this is the game. Uh, all of the text and all the information is along the sides of the box. And I just thought that was really nice just to present it in this sort of very um, dramatic way of this is two sides fighting for dominance uh, over one another. So, nice... Uh, little bit of box art there I thought I would, I would share. All right then. So you said you've uh, you've got some instructions downloaded and you've got the character description, so that's really helpful. Um, of course, as we go through the game, I will point out the different characters so that they're clear to you uh, on the screen. Now, the game comes with 18 townsfolk and you randomly select in any particular game uh, and then placed out either as the townsfolk orientation or the creature and I'll explain how the sort of power struggle works in a moment but I always think it's best when explaining a game is to explain first and foremost what the victory conditions are so this is what we're working towards so the game will end immediately if one of four conditions are met if there are three secured characters, the town wins. And secured means that the purple cube must have worked its way down to the lowest level. If there are three devoured characters, then the creature wins. And it's exactly the same thing, but on a creature facing of the townsperson. So bringing it down to the bottom point. If one of the players reaches the sixth level of awareness, then that player wins. I'll explain the awareness cards for each, for either the creature or for the town in a moment. And then finally, if at any time during the game only five character cards remain in play, the player with more character cards in their dimension wins. So if we end up taking cards off the board, once we get down to five, whoever has got the most in their dimension wins. So those are the four end game conditions. The turn structure, and again, what's really helpful, you get a nice card that details exactly how the game plays out. Uh, you can, once you know this, you can follow it through. Uh, it becomes second nature. The speed of the game builds up quite considerably. And, uh, and it's very, very easy. The very first action you can do is the awareness phase. Uh, the awareness phase is you can actually use one of your awareness abilities. At the start of the game, I'll just bring that up so you can see. So this is the awareness card for the townsfolk. At the beginning of the game, you start with zero awareness. As you generate more energy, you are able to move your marker further down the track. Each level costs more than on the next time. So 
The first level of energy on the track would only cost you one, and that would take you to the first level. If you wanted to go to the second level of awareness, it would cost you two. And then obviously three for the next level and four and so on until you get to six. As we explained right at the beginning, if you get to six, you immediately win the game. If at any time on your go and you're in the awareness phase, say you were at level three, you could use the level three ability. But once you've used it, that's it. So it's a one off. Level one is you shuffle your deck and discard a pile together to create a new deck and then draw a card. At level two, you're going to gain two energy. At level three, you're going to shift the safety marker of any one devoured character by one space. The safety markers are these purple cubes as they move down the track. Uh, you can move these cubes in either direction. And we'll come to that in a moment. Level four is you can flip the direction token. So this is the direction token. This is the direction that we are playing in. At this moment in time, we are going clockwise. There is the potential that we might end up flipping the token to go anti-clockwise. Level five is discard all cards from your hand, then draw the same number of cards from your deck. And then number six is you immediately win the game. Okay, so that is the awareness. So we come then to the action phase. You get to perform one of three available actions. So first off, you can play a card. So we have a deck here of 28 cards. And we'll take a look at some of the cards here for the townsfolk. Move quickly. A sedative, lock the door, throwing stuff, night search, driving license, breakfast bars, a walkie talkie. These are items and actions that possibly a town folks person might want to do. And the creature has different actions, entrapment, struggle, ambush, Lurking. Okay. Rage. So the cards are unique to either the townsfolk or to the creature. So when you draw a card, let's uh, pay, take one from the town at random. So first of all, to play a card. So let's take a look at this one here. This is uh, this one's on the house. So we have a house symbol. You can shift the safety marker of a character card that has a matching symbol by one space. So we've got the house, uh, the shop front symbol here. Let's take a look at the characters. Natalie has that symbol. Scott has the symbol. So does Earl. Okay, so those are the three characters who have that symbol. By playing this card, we can move the safety marker down a level. So even if the safety marker was already part way along, it's an additional move downwards. Okay. One of the win conditions is to get three of your characters all the way down to the bottom, to the secure level. So moving that is good. If there wasn't a character, that it didn't have this symbol on, you can actually put this token down onto a character so that next time, should you play a similar type of card, they've got that icon. And so you can then activate their safety marker and bring it down a level. So those are the two actions that you get to do with pl uh, playing a card in the first moment. Then, you may activate the ability on the card by spending energy equal to the card's activation cost. So on this particular card, the ability is if the creature has more cards in hand than you, you gain free energy. So you would have to pay one of your energy in order to activate that. And that then is playing a card. If you didn't want to play a card, then there are two other options. You can prepare. 
So you can discard any number of cards from your hand and then draw back up to five. Five is your hand limit. When we start the game, we're going to start off with three cards. And then the final action that you can do is rest. You gain energy equal to the number of character cards in your dimension. So when we start the game, the townsfolk have five characters, as do the creature. If you rest, you will gain that number of energy. The maximum amount of energy that you can hold is 10. And we're going to start the game off with five energy. That's the action phase. It is then the activity phase. So we check the character card with the activity marker. So we're going to be starting off on this particular character. And it is the creature who is going to start first. So if this character card is in between, then nothing happens. So what is in between? In between basically is that the marker is not working its way down the track, the safety track. So all these characters at the moment are in between. They are neutral. They're not being swayed one way or another. Otherwise, the player whose dimension the character is currently in may increase their awareness level by one step. Also, if the character is guarded, secured, terrified, or devoured, the ability of that character is activated. So it's basically level two, three, and four. So once the cube gets to those levels, then you're able to activate the ability of the, char of the, uh, of the character on the card here. So I'll read those out individually. Though, of course, I think you've got the listing, haven't you? Mm -hmm. uh, of, of each one. And then once that's done, it's the movement phase. You flip the activity marker over and move it to the next character. So we would move this simply across to here. And that is the game. So it's all down to your management of your cards, the generation of energy, and trying to obviously play this tug of war to turn the townsfolk to your favor, be that actually the town or to the creature dimension as you are the guest who would you like to play as the town or the creature i would like to play as the creature okay fair enough then. well in that case you you get to start because we're starting the game brand new there is no awareness phase um because you're at zero so you are at the action phase uh, this being the case, you can play a card, you can prepare, or you can rest. I guess it would help if you knew what your cards were. So let's, that show, would be great. let's show you what you've got. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll be reading these out to you. And of course, in the nature of the game, I get to see your cards. Obviously, playing this with friends and family, you wouldn't get to see what the opposition have. Uh, so you never quite know what they might be playing. Okay, so you have Rage, and Rage is the slash mark. So this is going to affect Carl, Max. Those are the two characters that it would affect. And the special ability is choose an equipment card that is in play and remove it from the game. And that would cost you two energy. There are no uh, equipment cards in play at the moment, so that ability is not that useful at the moment. We then have Entrapment, and this is the hands up against the mesh fence, and there are no characters with that symbol in play. Okay, But of course, having that symbol on the card, you could put down that token. Uh, the ability here is choose a character card in the creature dimension and shift the safety marker on it by one space. That would cost you free energy. And then hiding, and hiding is the fog symbol. And we have Natalie, Tom. Yep, Natalie and Tom. Uh, place this card on any character card if the activity marker would be placed on this character, place it on the next character card instead and discard this card. And that would cost one. So those are your three cards to start off with. Alright, I would like to play the Rage card. 
Okay. And we will shift the uh, safety marker one space on Max. One space on Max. Let's just find Max. There he is. So this comes down to the first level. All right. And as we sort of said, there is the ability of choose an equipment card in play. It would cost you two energy, but of course there are no there equipment cards, so it's not worth it. So we just discard that card, that card now. And then we go to the activity phase. Check the character card with the activity marker on it. So this is Carl. He is in between, so nothing happens. And we just move the icon over to Richard. And so it is then the townsfolk's turn. So let's see what I've got. I'm going to play an equipment card. Now this is something unique to the townsfolk. They can have three equipment cards out at any given time. They stay in play and it is a uh, potentially a constant bonus to them. Uh, it's an ability that's always uh, playing. So on this one is whenever you play a card with the shop front, you may draw one card. All right. But here and now I have the shop front marker. And that means that I am able to move Earl. And we'll put Earl down onto the first level. I could use now, I could spend two energy because I've played a card with the shop marker to allow me to draw one card. So I think I will do that. I will take, play the two energy, and I will draw up another card and put it into my hand. And so we take a look then at the card that we got there. Uh, Richard, Richard is in between, so nothing happens. So this then moves to Earl, and it is over to you. Go do I get a new card? Uh, you don't get a new card. What you would need to do is Rest? you... Yes, exactly. Uh, oh, no, prepare. So you discard oh, any number of your cards, or, or not, but you can draw back up to five. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I think... What was the, the uh, ability on hiding? So hiding, hiding is you place this card on er any character card, if the activity marker would be placed on this character, place it on the next character instead and discard this ah. card. Okay. Um, I think I will use the entrapment card. Okay. And add that symbol. Yes, because there's no and netting symbol, is there? Would, and characters can have more than one symbol? Is yes, that, like, yes they can. The, yep. Okay, so let's add that symbol to Max. Okay. I'm sorry, uh, yes, Max. Okay, so he's the next one. So we just take the symbol out of the pile and we add that on there. Let's put it just there. Uh, your ability then is choose a character card in the creature dimension and shift the safety marker on it by one space. That would cost you free energy. Choose a creature, choose a character in the creature dimension, shift the marker one space. Yep. I will do that for Max. Yep. There we go. All right. Ah, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Um, right. And so we then go to the activity phase. Check the character card with the activity marker on. Uh, it is not in between. So otherwise, the player whose dimension the character is currently in may increase their awareness by one step. So he is slightly more aware now. And that being the case, my marker comes down by one. So I'm now at a level one awareness. I could shuffle my deck and discard pile together to create a new deck and then draw a card. Uh, and then we go to the movement phase. This moves over and it is now uh, the townsfolk. Do we get to activate the ability? No, because it's on, it's the ability for Earl. Uh, it, it, the ability for Earl would come on in in levels two, three, and four, not at level Got one. It. But the ability okay. for Max would do, yes? Okay, so it is the townsfolk, and what the townsfolk are going to do, they're going to rest. And that being the case, one, two, three, four, five, it is five energy. 
So there's four, there's five. Straight away, we go to the activity phase. Uh, the player whose dimension the character is currently in may increase their awareness by one step. So your awareness goes to one. Uh, also, if the character is guarded, secured, terrified, or devoured, the ability of that character is activated. So max, the creature may remove an adjacent character card from the game. <laughs> Mm, give me just a second. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's get rid of Jame. Jame, okay. She is gone. That's interesting. When I've played this before, we haven't got rid of any characters. So, yeah, that's an interesting one. Max could slowly but surely just gobble up all the characters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that being the case, that was my go. We now jump, but it changes order now. So it's now you on top of this card here, which is Timmy. So you're at awareness phase. You could use your ability if you wanted to. I will not. Okay, so we then <laughs> go on to cards. Uh, oh, well, action phase. So you can either play a card prepare or rest you have one card which is hiding i am going to prepare okay so you could discard this card if you wish uh, and then draw up five or keep hold of this card and take up four so, yeah. so we have rage uh which is the claw marks and then again choose equipment card that is in play and remove it from the game costing two energy ambush which is the I. You get to choose one option. The town discards half of its cards from its hand, rounded down, or the town loses half of its energy, rounded down, costing two energy. Lurking, which is the claw. Uh, or is it a tooth? Could be a tooth. Could be a hound's tooth. You never know. <laughs> Draw cards until you have as many as the town. Costs two. Oh, wow. And then Entrapment, which is the uh, the hand against the mesh fence. Uh, choose a character card in the creature dimension and shift the safety marker on it by one space. And that costs three. That's your four new cards. That's awesome. Okay. That is good. All right. So you have those there. Uh, we then go to the activity phase and Timmy is in between. So nothing happens. So marker moves on so i am going to play stockroom check again gives me the store frontage symbol and what this will allow me to do is move a safety marker of a character now then here's something that's a bit interesting when a character is in between if it has the symbol you can move the marker either further down or back the way it came so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn Natalie. you kind of got to imagine that there's a limbo area where this marker is placed. So because she is on the creature side, by using that ability, I turn her to the townsfolk side. She doesn't come down on this track. It literally is just the turning. That is the one movement. A second safety marker movement would then bring her onto the track. So that is how you flip the cards back and two from either the town or the creature dimension. I've turned Natalie more to my side using that card. Now then, what I can do, I could spend free energy if at least half of the characters with a storefront are in the human dimension, take one card of your choice from your discard pile and add it to your hand. Well, I don't have a discard pile, so that's not worthwhile. But, so I'm gonna discard the card, but my coupon, whenever you play a card with a store front, you may draw a card. So I will pay the two energy to allow me to have a new card. And so that's my card being played, activity phase, the character is in between, so nothing is happening. So move it on to Natalie. And it is the creature's go. Okay, we are on Natalie. 
So you have Rage, Ambush, Lurking, Entrapment, and Hiding. Your symbols are the Slashing Claws, the Eye, the Tooth, the Mesh, and the Smoke. So in effect, you can do something with everybody except Earl. So you are using... So you've got the Cloud symbol. You're using that to move the marker. So that is now flipped. All right. Uh, and then it would cost you one energy to use the ability if you wish. You're going to use the one energy, put it onto Tom. So we'll just put that just there. Okay. And so then it is the activity phase. Character Natalie is in between. So nothing's happening. Okay. So this would then move over. Place the card, character card, yes. If the activity marker would be placed on this character, place it on the next character card instead. So it jumps to Scott. So this card now is discarded. Right then, we're going to set up a barricade. So that's the sheriff symbol. So it means I can move that marker down by one. I am not going to use the special ability. So again, we look at the card. It's in between, nothing happens. We move the token on to Carl, and it is your go. Okay, I think I want to rest. Okay, rest will mean you gain energy equal to the number of characters. One, two, three, four, five. So that's three, that's five. So you have eight energy in total. Uh, we then go to activity phase we have got this moved so the player's damage and characters currently may increase their awareness level by one step so it would cost me two energy so i'm going to pay that two energy to increase my awareness and then this moves on to richard all right what shall i do i am going to prepare i'm going to discard my two cards and draw up five one two Three, four, five. That's my go. It's in between. We move on. Over to you. Okay, I'm going to play Rage. I'm going to move Max up by one. Okay, so Rage has got the slashing symbol. So Max moves up by one. Yeah, you're really going to win and, this game. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm going to pay two energy to uh, choose an equipment card and yes. remove it, and I want to get rid of your coupon. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so two energy gone. Coupon is gone. Okay. And all right. And so we take a look, and because Earl is not in between, you can pay two energy to move your awareness up by two. Well, I think it, that's you can, right? Because it's on your side. Oh, sorry. Um, yes. Uh, oh, yes, because I did it for Carl, didn't I? Right, so you could pay yeah. three to go up to... I could, I could do the three. So, yes, I will yeah. do that. I will pay the three. Takes me up to level three. There we go. Yes, of course. I'm sorry, I'm getting confused because Max is next, isn't he? I'm, I'm waiting yeah. for him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so this then moves over to me okay well i've got no energy so i am instantly going to rest uh and gain energy equal to my characters which is two i get four that's not a huge amount and we go to the activity phase and absolutely here we go so you are able to increase your awareness yep uh, yes. So, two energy uh, to increase. I, I will do it. Yep. So, there's your two spent. You go up to here. But, of course, you're now able to use Max's ability. Uh, the creature may remove an adjacent character card from the game. Remove Earl. Earl is gone. Wow. Okay. This, the poor townsfolk are just getting gobbled up, aren't they? <laughs> okay, and so we then move this 
over to Timmy. And it is your go. Let's use the lurking card and move Scott up one. Okay, so Scott is the two, so we move that up by one. And you could use your two energy to draw cards until you have to do the same as the town. So I would go from two cards to five cards? Yes. That's quite yeah, good. Yeah, I will do that. Okay, so we get rid of that card. Cost you two. And you're drawing up three cards. One, two, three. Let's see what you've got. Replacement uh, is some sort of electrical crackle. Uh, choose any character card except the one with the activity marker on it and move it to a different place in the circle. Ooh, so you're, essentially you're stacking the characters there. Uh, cost two energy. Ambush. We've done this one before, haven't we? It's with the eye symbol. Uh, the town discards half of its cards from its hand or loses half of its energy. Cost you two. And then hiding is in the smoke. Uh, place the card on any character card. The activity marker would be placed on this character. Place it on the next character instead and discard this card. So there we go. That's what you've got. Uh, Timmy is in between, so between. nothing happens. So this then moves over to Bob. Uh, and it is my turn. Let's see what I've got. What can I do? We'll play a regroup. So this is the symbol with the two hands together. That means I will flip Tom, put him onto my side, and for two energy, for each character in the human dimension that has the two hands, the creature must discard one card. Well, Tom's got the hands. Ah, it is only Tom. Okay, that's fair enough. So you must discard one of your cards. Okay, Bob is in between, so nothing happens. It then moves over to Natalie, and it is your turn. We're going to uh, use replacement. We'll okay. place that uh, marker on uh, Richard. It's going on to Richard over here. Yep. And then I will spend uh, two energy to use the ability. Two energy, yep. And now you can move any character card except the one with the marker on. I want to move Carl to between uh, Max and Timmy. <laughs> now, now, how many times have you played this game? <laughs> None. None. <First> time. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, I'm getting schooled here. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, good. Good move, sir. Good move. <laughs> All right. Uh, do, do, do. So that's been done. We look at Natalie. Natalie is in between, so it doesn't mean, count for anything. So moving over to Tom. And let's see what we've got. I've not got much energy. Going to... We need to close this. So we're going to use the Sheriff's Badge. So I'm going to move Carl's safety marker down by one. And I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, and so Tom is in between, doesn't count. So we just move on over. It is your go with Scott. Uh, I think I am going to uh, rest and okay. get energy. So equal to the number of characters, one, two, three, four. There we go. Okay. And so then we take a look. You are on the safety track here. So it means that you could pay free energy to take you up to level three awareness. I will do that. Okay. I spend that. That goes up to level three. And this then moves on over. I am going to rest and I will get four energy. That right, just there. And uh, so we look, nothing is in between. So we move over to Max, your turn. All right, I will play Entrapment. Okay. To move Max up one level. Yep, okay. on yes, track. very good, yes, yes. 
So he's devoured. He is. He's completely safe now. Uh, choose a character card in the creature dimension and shift the safety marker by one space. It would cost you free energy, but you unfortunately only I don't have, have enough. Yes. So, uh, so lose that we'll card. Skip that. Uh, I do not have enough to go up an awareness level. Yep. But we will use his uh, character ability. Yes. Uh, creature may remove an adjacent character card from the game. I assume it's going to be Carl. <laughs> Carl, 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 <laughs> Carl is gone. Ooh, this is, yeah, <laughs> this this creature is hungry. <laughs> All right, and so this moves over to Timmy, and what's Timmy gonna do? I'm gonna have to just do it. Aren't I? So we're gonna play the hands covering your tracks. Uh, we'll use this to increase Tom's awareness. And that will be it. So in between, doesn't count. Moving on over to Bob. On to Bob. And let's see, I have hiding and ambush. That's correct. Uh, so you've got the eye and you've got the smoke. All right. So uh, let's use hiding. Okay. And let's move Natalie over to the other side. Ooh, yes. So over she goes. And for one energy, you, you can place this card down to skip a card. Okay. And you've used your energy. There we go. Uh, nothing on Bob, so we move on over. And we are now on Natalie. I'm going to use front page article, the shop front to switch Natalie back. There we go. So if the majority of the character cards are in the creature dimension, increase your awareness level by one. Cost free energy. Oh. I'm going to do that. Wow. So there's my free energy. I am up to level four. Right, we then move on. We skip this card and we go to Scott. That has been used. And so you have no energy and one card. I'm going to rest. Okay. And so you get four energy. There we go. So you can spend four energy to increase your awareness level to four if you wish. Moving on. We go over to Richard. I'm going to use the card move quickly. So I can use the shop frontage to put the token on Natalie, try and secure her a little bit. Richard is in between, so it doesn't matter. So we then move over to Max, and it is your go. I'm going to prepare. All right. And prepare will... And I would like to discard the ambush. So you're going to get five fresh. One, two, three, four... Five. Activity marker, it is all the way down at the bottom, so you could spend, well, you could spend four to take you up to level four of your awareness track. Um, no. Okay. The creature may remove an adjacent character card from the game. I will not do that. <laughs> Moving on. Over to Timmy. I've got no cards, I've got a little bit of energy, so I really am going to have to prepare. So I take five. One, two, three, four, five. Timmy's in between, doesn't count. So moving on over to Bob, and it's your turn. Let's play replacement and move Richard up by one on the track. Okay, yes. All right. And then choose any, so it costs you two, choose any character card, except the one with the icon, and move it to a different place in the circle. All right, so Richard moves down one, pay two energy, and I want to move uh, Tom mm -hmm. to between Richard and uh, Max. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter. Anywhere near Max is good. <laughs> <laughs> Max is the man. <laughs> All right, so yes, that has been done. Uh, I can see how awesome Max is now. Yes. 
Yeah, he's into coming to his own, hasn't he? Um, all right, and so Bob is not affected, so it moves on over to the town player. I'm going to play a shotgun. And so we've got the Interstate 69 symbol. So we're going to move Timmy back over to the good side. And then I'm going to spend the free energy to place the shotgun with Tom. Place this card on any character card. The creature cannot use cards to interact with that character card. Oh, that's cards, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't quite work. Oh. I was I, I wanted to give Tom a fighting <laughs> chance. <laughs> give him some defense. Exactly, you know. You ain't coming anywhere near me, Max. But uh, <laughs> but yes, I think it's your card play, not the ability. Ah, that's an, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Place, yeah. It is. The creature cannot use cards to interact. So I, I, I got to assume that our deck of cards, because this would say, because it's a, a, a character card ability, it would say, wouldn't it? I think but that's probably I, yeah. fair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that's a shame. But thematically, it worked really well. <laughs> 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 okay. Natalie is on the track. I could have moved on if I had any energy, but I don't, so it doesn't matter. So it moves over to Scott. It is your turn. Okay. So that's using the gun. So it's using struggle, moving this down by one. Obviously, it plays out in the next turn, doesn't it, once you mm -hmm. you get there, yeah? Uh, okay, so that's done because you can't use the ability. There's no energy to for me to lose, for you to gain. Okay, so Scott is already on the track, which means that you could spend four energy to get yourself up to level four. I will do it. Yeah. So that four has gone. That goes to there. So you're level four. Uh, he is only at the level one there, so it doesn't count. So we then move this across to Richard. Uh, I've got no energy. I am going to rest to give me free energy. It is your go. You've got no energy to boost up your awareness, but you now can use Richard's uh, creature ability, which means you get rid of this and you would gain free energy. So that's, that, was, uh, that did work out quite nicely. There you go. Uh, yes. A little bit of a so boost I will, I will rest. Okay, yep. So that moves across to Tom. You're resting. And you've got three characters, so you get three cubes. I can spend, oh gosh, if only. So I could, if I had five energy, I could boost up, but I can't. So nothing's happening there. This then flips over to Max. I am going to play Preparations, which is the shop front. We're going to move the cube down for Natalie and spend two energy. If the creature has more energy than you, you have five, I have two, then I get to draw two cards. So one, two cards. So it's your action. So if you, well, <laughs> so you can spend five energy to boost you up that level. Uh, and also, no. then you can use the creature's ability to remove a card. I do not want to spend the five energy. I do want to use the creature's ability. <laughs> and we're going to remove Tom. Tom, yes. Tom has gone. Uh, all right. So we are six cards, and it is even uh, between uh, the townsfolk and the creature. Okay. And that then moves over to the creature's turn. You have Rage with the Slash and Replacement with the Energy Crackle. All right. I want to use the Awareness ability. Okay. And I want to flip the Direction token. Right. All right. Okay. Uh, so that's going to go this way. All right. All right. Well, uh, let's use Replacement. Uh-huh. 
on mm-hmm. Richard to move him up a level. Yep. And, and then I will spend energy. Two energy? Yep, two energy to move Natalie. Yep. To uh, between Max and Richard. And there she goes. Um, okay, so that is you done, and Timmy is in between, so nothing happens, and so we are now got a change of direction. We're going anti-clockwise. It goes back to me, but on to Max. How can I save Natalie? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, in fact, because we're actually on Max, so it is too late. You now then, in your activity phase... Uh, you could spend five to boost your awareness, which you've not got the energy to do so. Uh, no. you, you then get to use the creature uh, Max's ability. Creature may remove an adjacent character card from the game. And now we have a situation where there are only five characters left in the game, of which three are the creature, two are the town. The creature wins the game. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> so here we go. So Super Sarah is asking who won, and Snow <laughs> saying Houndstooth, of course. <laughs> Everybody knows I always lose. <laughs> it's the it's it's the curse of being the host. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> but also being matched against really good players. <laughs> and I would again, definitely play this again at my local club. I would pick up a copy and play for sure. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. It is good, good fun, isn't it? I mean, of course, it, it's a, a sort of asymmetrical game where the, each of uh, the townsfolk have different abilities uh, to the creature. It would take a, a good number of playthroughs to tell how well balanced it is, but it certainly seems like there's a, a a nice variety of ways to get to victory, and you can't you can't ignore any avenue because you know your opponent could weasel in one of those other ways and get ahead of you. Uh, well, thank you so, so much for joining in, playing this evening. I that was really good fun. Hopefully, uh, Thank you for having me. Yeah, oh, well, thank you. No, it's, that's been really good fun. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. Okay, so thank you very much, everybody, for watching this evening. Uh, I hope to catch you again on another Tabletop Tuesday. But until then, goodbye for now.